click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda dear students so today we are going to learn regarding the difference between a scanning electron microscope and a atomic force microscope as you know both of these are the characterization techniques which we use for characterizing the surfaces of nano materials so when we learn about the differences what we have is we are going to study what is the basic principle difference between these two characterizing techniques what are their advantages so let us start with the first there is sem sem is very useful in resolving a surface but it resolves the surface only in 2d on the contrary if you look at afm it can resolve the surface in 3d giving us also the depth and that's why we say that it gives us the surface profile coming back once again to sem which is the scanning electron microscope scanning electron in the case of scanning electron microscopes you know that we need conducting samples does this mean that we cannot analyze a sample which is not conducting yes we can definitely do that by giving a coat of carbon on a non conducting surface we can actually analyze these surfaces too with the help of sem coming back to the advantage in this field for afm an afm will analyze your surface irrespective of whether it is conducting or whether it is non conducting and the reason being there is no current involved in the case of an afm what it simply matters in the case of afm is only the cantilever is moving on the surface and giving us the details about the topography coming to the third point which is basically a major disadvantage in the case of sem is it requires a very high degree of vacuum which is around 10 raised to minus 6 tor to 10 raised to minus 9 tor you know the students you know the students very well that the atmospheric pressure in itself corresponds to 760 tor so just imagine the low magnitude of 10 raised to minus 6 or 10 raised to minus 9 tor because in sem we use electrons afm in this category is having an advantage wherein afm does not require any sort of vacuum for its operation because it does not use any kind of electrons it is it is only a opto mechanical system of operation and that's the reason why afm does not require any vacuum this is one of the biggest advantages of afm coming to the next point in the case of sem what we do is we actually utilize electrons for resolving the surface whereas in the case of afm we are using the signals that are provided by a opto mechanical lever and these signals are picked up by photodiodes and these are later generated into a 3d profile and lastly one of the biggest advantages of sem is it has a better resolution better in the sense because it is actually collecting the secondary electrons that are being liberated by the surface but correspondingly for afm the resolution is actually limited by the tip of the cantilever and hence one can say that sem scores better as compared to afm as far as the resolution is concerned thanks a lot students for watching this video do subscribe to ekeda thanks a lot